This is a representation of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you're unfamiliar with this model, it starts with basic physiological human needs required for survival. Once this layer is fulfilled sufficiently, we can build on top of it, working up to self-actualization. The bottom two layers of the pyramid are currently where designers place all of their focus, creating an interior that provides shelter, warmth and somewhere to sleep. Of course, as a designer, we want this space to look as beautiful as possible, but we are only satisfying the very basis of human needs. The top three layers are currently neglected in the design world and as such have formed the focus of our new design strategies. We have trawled the latest research to create a catalogue of new strategies to fulfil these needs, all the way to self-actualization. We've really shifted the focus from form to function, because good interior design isn't just a choice of colours and furniture, it puts the resident at the centre. Let's take one of the first symptoms of dementia, spatial disorientation. This inability to navigate effectively is among the first symptoms of dementia and is often the reason initial care is sought. Orientation and the ability to reach destinations are the prerequisites of personal autonomy and quality of life. Studies have found that residents suffering from medium levels of the disease display problems in locating their own apartments, bathrooms, activity rooms and dining rooms. Therefore, we can say people living in adapted care have difficulty meeting their most basic needs of sleep, food, socialization and toileting. Without intervention, reduced wayfinding can lead to severe decrease in independence and function along with a loss of dignity and health. If we revisit Maslow's hierarchy, these qualities of independence can be found under esteem but have a direct impact on the very base of the pyramid. To combat this, we have developed the Catalyst Wayfinding Strategy, which combines the latest research with 20 years of experience. The strategy is designed into the build of the home and is then passed to the care staff as a working document which offers an easily implementable, clear and concise plan for assisting residents with their wayfinding abilities. This is just one of the many problems we have highlighted through our consolidated and extensive research. Our new strategies target common problems such as isolation, exercise, a sense of belonging, responsibility and many more. We are constantly innovating to ensure our design is much more than meets the eye. We've long realised the impact good interior design can have on the resident and subsequently the impacts that has for the care home operator when it comes to filling beds. To give potential clients more of an insight into these methods, we are currently giving away our latest strategy free as an e-book. To claim yours, click the button next to this video and fill out your details. Don't worry, we hate spam and will only use your email address to send you further information on our design processes. Alternatively, if you'd like us to tell you more about our design strategies and what we can offer, our initial consultation is completely free of charge. Just book a call at a convenient time with the link inside of your download.